What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger. We're gonna be showcasing a Hunger Switch more Peko team for the regulation ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was created by Poke Sports and their community. So a huge shout out, shout out to Poke Sports. If you guys want to check out this team more in depth or want to get the Poke base for the squad, head down to their channel. Link is down in the description below. But more Peko is a super cool Pokemon that was introduced in Sword and Shield Generation 8 with a cool ability called Hunger Switch. So what Hunger Switch actually does to more Peko is at the end of every single turn, it switches into Hangry mode or full belly mode and ultimately what that does is it changes the typing that aurora wheel its move is actually typing so it's either going to be electric type when it's in full belly mode or it's going to be dark type when it's in hang mode so really cool pokemon it's got choice scarf as its item and its other three moves rocking is super fang quash and parting shot Roy moon is in our second slot with protosynthesis and the booster energy acrobatics knock off dragon dance protect set this pokemon up it can pretty much sweep teams all by itself in our third slot, we got Water Ogre Pond. Such a good Pokemon for attacking and for support because it does learn Follow Me. It's got Water Absorb as its ability, and then its other three moves are Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Spiky Shield. Fourth slot is going to be Arcanine. I absolutely love Arcanine on this team with Intimidate and Life Orb to do some big time damage. And on top of that, it has, it has Rock Slide, Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, and Protect. But one thing you can actually do on this team with more Peko is you can actually lead it, go for a parting shot, because chances are you're going to be able to outspeed with that Choice Scarf, and then swap into Arcanine and get off an Intimidate. So if there's physical attackers on the field, you can lower their attack with parting shot, and then lower it again with Intimidate as you swap in. Fifth slot is going to be Sinistra. Sinistra is just a great Pokemon on this team for healing purposes, and to pair up with Ursaluna for Trick Room. It has Hospitality with a Big Root as its item, Machigacha, Strength Sap, Trick Room, and Protect. And our final slot is that Ursaluna with Mind's Eye and Leftover, and then Blood Moon, Earth Power, Calm Mind to set up those stat boosts and protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's try to showcase more Peko on the Regulation E ranked line. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Komo O team. They also have Intidi to pair up with that Komo O and just be a great support Pokemon all around. And then they got Oricori. I think that's how you pronounce that Pokemon team, the Fire Form, and then uh, Chime Co, Golden Go, and Ogre Pond. It's a pretty cool team with a few off-meta Pokemon. But I'm definitely going to want to lead more Peko here, maybe just parting shot out, or just see what I can do from there. So I am going to go more Peko, and on top of that, I'm also going to lead a Pokemon like Roy Moon. I think that would be great, and then go Arcanine in the back end, alongside with either Ogre Pond or Sinistra. And I'm kind of leaning towards Ogre Pond, considering... Follow me is going to be great. We do have Ivy Cudgel. We have Grass Moves too. I kind of like it all around. But they do have Grass Ogre on. But I feel like we could deal with that pretty well. Especially with more Peko, Roy Moon, and Arcanine being our other three Pokemon. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. And showcase more Peko. I really do like this Pokemon so much. Ever since it was introduced in uh, Gen 8, I fell in love with it. I just think it looks so cool. And I love how it switches modes and switches kind of like emotions too because it's either very angry or it's very happy which i think is very cool so they're gonna end up going into como -O alongside with golden go golden go is here so i can parting shot out of here which i might do i could also terrestrialize slice and straight electric look how happy this little thing is and go aurora, aurora wheel if i wanted to which i might just do and just go after golden go Hmm. Well, you know what? I might, I'm just going to party shot and I think save you. I think we're just going to go after Komo. -O, drop its special attack. Swap out. Potentially, do I do that? Hmm. And then maybe set up a Dragon Dance? No, you know what? We're just going to Terrasilize. I'm going to get right after his Terrasilize and I'm just going to go for a Dragon Dance here. I'm going to look to set up the Dragon Dance because he might just protect Komo -O or something like that or even swap. So I'm Terrasilize into more Peko. I want to do as much damage as I possibly can. Going straight electric type. The more Peko out and about. Love this little dude. Look how adorable it is. <laughs> more Peko is so cool. I love how it was introduced in the DLC. The more Peko is going to be pretty fast. Golden Go is going to end up protecting. Smart little play there. And I wonder what Como is going to do here. He's going to double protect. I'm cool with that. I get off a free Dragon Dance. 
I get off a free lovely dragon. And the best part about this is I switch to hangry mode and my aurora bill turns dark, which is now going to be super effective onto the golden bill. That's massive. That's just beautiful. It's just huge. So I get off a nice dragon ants. I'm going to stick with aurora bill here. And actually, no, I don't swap typings. I don't swap in hangry mode. I guess I have to land an attack or does it not work when terrestrializing? That's kind of weird. That would definitely be weird. But I'm going to go for the acrobatics here. Hopefully he does not steal Terra, which is definitely a possibility. And I think he is going to steal Terra. This Terra type comes out here. Koma O is going steal. Fire. I'll take fire all day. I'll take fire all day. Way better than steal because I'm going for the fire. So acrobatics should still do a nice chunk of damage. It's coming in hot here and it's picking up over half. Which is beautiful. Aurora Wheel is going to fly here. Get that electric terror boost, and that is doing half damage. So we like what we're saying. That's awesome. Plus, we get a speed boost whenever we use this move. Make it rain's gonna come out here. Both my Pokemon soak rather well, and I wonder what Como is going for. I'm curious to see what he's going for. So he has a jack pack. He's gonna eject pack out. I'm not too worried about that leaking, considering we already got half HP. And they're gonna go into who? They go into a physical attacker. I might swap into Arcanine next turn. They're gonna go to Oricorio. So Clanger Soul comes out here. Um, I believe my Roar Moon should still outspeed that, which is massive. It is massive. And on top of that, does the dancer ability come out here? Yeah, I was gonna say. The dancer ability comes out here. Nice little play there. And Oricorio is looking to get after it. So I still think we're fine on speed. I mean, I could double down the Ori Corio here if I wanted to. But I kind of like where we're sitting. Because both my Pokemon have a speed boost from Aurora Wheel and Dragon Ants. And I believe they're all plus one, right? I don't really know your speed too well. I don't really know. Well, I know I, uh, I'm fast in Como with both slots. But I have choice uh, Scarf. So I'm just going to do this. Aurora Wheel. And I'm just going to keep smack with Acrobatics, right? Actually, I'll go for a knockoff just in case he wants to swap into, say, Golden Go. That's cool. Me, my Pokemon are fast. I got Choice Scarf. I got Speed Boost. We got a lot cooking. But something I think I just figured out is if you Terrasilize more Peko, it will not change its typing from Hangry to Full Belly. So he ends up protecting the lovely Como O. And Aurora Bell is still going to make its way over to the Oricorio. Just take that out. Awesome, though. I love this lead. Yo, I love this lead. This lead is killing it right now. It's killing it. So we get yet another speed boost. Clangra's soul trick not working too well for them. But that's honestly a really cool combo there. They go Clangra's soul into a make it rain or whatever move they want to use. Or, yeah, make it rain and then eject pack out. And then pop Clangra's soul, have the dance of Oricorio, copy that move. And then get all the stat boosts. But in this instance, I'm just taking speed control pretty easily with my moves. And get off big damage at the same time. The Golden Goat comes back out here, and I believe they would cancel the battle, right? I'm just gonna send Knock Off this way, and that should be that, that should that should be game. Yeah, they cancel battle. One and zero. Hot start for us with more Peko. Second match on its way. I'm so happy we got to showcase more Peko in that first match. We pretty much just led more Peko and more Moon, and they didn't work from there. It's actually awesome. I actually loved it so much. But I'm going to lead more Peko again here, going up against this meta squad, and I'm going to bring Arcanine in the back end. I might just go parting shot, intimidate if they do want to lead physical attackers such as Rillaboom, Shen Pao, or Dragonite. But other leads that they can do could be like Fluttermane, it could be Heatran, it could also be Ogre Pond. So I really like more Peko in a lot of these situations. So I'm going to go more Peko here, and then in the back end, or I'm also going to lead it with Overpod. I like it like that. And then go Arcanine and last but not least, Warren Moon. This works so well. Or I could just go. I could go Warren Moon. Yeah, I am going to go Warren Moon here. And the reason I want to go Warren Moon as a lead is because if they end up leading physical attackers, I can just Terrastalize, Parting Shot, and then Intimidate, and then be able to set up a Dragon Ants too because their physical attack will be so low. They won't really be doing too much damage for us. So hopefully they lead physical attackers such as Shen Pao, Rillaboom, Shen Pao, Arcanine, or not Arcanine, uh, Dragonite. I'd rather it be Shen Pao, Dragonite, because then I wouldn't have to worry about Fake Out. But we'll see. It is going to be Dragonite and Heatran. The Dragonite Heatran come out here. 
I popped the Protosynthesis, which I really like. I get a nice little bit of attack boost. So I'm attack boosting right now. Um, I think I am just going to end up parting shotting here. And I could try slice into flying, which I want to do a lot here. Yeah, and then pop a dragon dance, or do I just attack? But I could just straight up attack at this point if I wanted to. With the flying tower, I might just start attacking. Yeah, it's gonna be my play. Because if this thing has multi scale, which a lot of them do, I can really just start getting after it. And did I, I was gonna say, did I not swap? But I forgot. I'm using parting shot. The parting shots should come out here first, unless you're going for e speeds or stuff like that. We have the choice scarf. But first turn priority is such a problem. It really is. So the parting shot's gonna come out here. He might be going for like an outreach or something. And we get off that lovely attack and special attack drop. And I end plus I get to save more P.E.K.K.A for later with the Choice Scarf. Works wonders. Definitely works wonders. But from here, I think now is going to be the play of going into Arcanine just so we can intimidate Dragonite if it's not in our focus. I hope it's not. I would love to just get off Intimidate. Intimidate goes there and he is in our focus. Man, come on. Come on, man. Acrobatics is now going to get cooking. Gonna deal some lovely damage into that slot. And he's gonna end up aerial recently. Wow, which does a huge chunk of damage. That's gotta be choice banned. That's gotta be choice banned. No burns allowed. Cool. So no burns come out here. I think from here we just go rock slide. And we just protect you. Because E speed. Actually, no, I think you're choice banned, right? I do think he's choice banned. So I'm actually just gonna end up knocking off the uh the heat trans item. And I believe Rock Slide should come out here and finish this off. And look at that damage. Get rid of that assault vest all day. Rock slide double lands, and it picks up the KO with the Dragonite. So made the right call. Saw pretty much saw it was choice banned, so it could not e speed into me. And we get off some big time damage all around. So he ends up going for an Earth Power, leaving my Acrobatics Pokemon on the field, which I really like. And he ends up taking out my Arcanine. So from here, who should I go into? I think I just go into Ogre Pond, right? Because if they go Shen Pao, I can just follow me the shot. Yeah, I'm going to go into Ogre Pond and just save my more Pekka with the Choice Scarf for late game. So not a bad start for us. They pick up a KO. We pick up a KO. We have their Heatran down very, very low. But they also have my Roaring Moon very low. So they end up going into Rillaboom here. And now it's just a simple turn of Double Protect, right? We got to Double Protect all day. Double Protect. Actually, yeah, we did. I was going to say, we don't have Protect. But we have Spiky Shield. So protect, protect, where you just don't want to deal with the fake out. And we'll, we'll go from the next turn. The chance are he's going to try to grass climbing, which is definitely an option. The protect's coming out here, spiky shield as well. I'm kind of hoping they're faking out Ogre Pond. Because at that point, I get some spiky shield damage off. But they end up making the right call. Going for the fake out on the Roar Moon. And what's he trying to go for here? Nice lovely flash gun. So I think from here we just play it pretty safe, right? We just go follow me acrobatics into Rillaboom, right? Makes the most sense. Because a lot of Rillabooms don't even rock protect, so if I can just follow me these shots and just go after uh Rillaboom, we can get off some big time damage. The grass guide is gonna fly here. We end up soaking, thank god we're half grass type. And Acrobat should just take this thing out, no problem. Get on out of here, Will Boom. Love it, love it, love it. So I wonder what Heatran is going to go for. I kind of hope one of these Pokemon can survive. And it ends up going for Heat. So Ogre Pond is going to be able to soak, which is huge. And it comes down to a 2v2. I have Choice Scarf more P.E.K.K.A., which I'll probably choice into uh, Aurora Well here. And it really comes down to who's the last Pokemon. And if I had to guess, it's probably Shen Pao, right? Shen Pao just makes the most sense. Good old Shen Pao. So more Pekos coming out here. All shiny. Looking all happy. And look how tiny it is. <laughs> it looks so funny. And Shen Pao's also going to come out here. Shen Pao. Shen Pao Pao. So from here, I think I just follow me and I get rid of Heatran here, right? I think that makes the most sense. And then we can start going after Shen Pao. Maybe just taking a 1v1. The follow me is going to come out here. We want to keep more pecs alive. War Bill is going to finish the scene off. I was kind of hoping he would be going for like Sucker Punch. But I guess he's just going for Ice Spinner. So we get a lovely big time speed boost. 
I think we might change into Hangry Move, which could be a tad bit of a problem. But Sacred Sword is going to fly here and take out Oogly. Okay, I see you. I understand. I understand. And can I go into Hangry Mode? Yeah, there it is. He's getting hangry. <laughs> I love it. So now this move is Dark Type. Um, kind of sucks because it's not very effective, but it's still just going to take out Focus Ash. And this match is actually going to come down to it. We might be able to KO with Electric. We get a speed boost, which is huge. He's going to end up going for Sacred Sword, which is now super effective. Well, actually, we're part Dark Type. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But GG's to our opponent. Came down to the wire. We played it actually pretty well, but they just had a top tier meta squad to beat us. Final match is on its way. Would love to be sitting 2-0 here, but that last match came down to the wire and Shen Pao just got the best of more Peko. But hopefully we can go 2-1. We're going up against a half Trick Room, half Shen Pao Arcanine squad with Sableye, Shen Pao Arcanine, like we already mentioned, and then Sinistra, Fluttermane, and Iron Hands. Who should I lead here? I definitely want to bring in Ursula in it in case they want to pop Trick Room, right? That is definitely an option for us. But I think from here... More Pekka is going to be a solid lead because I can always just parting shot out if they want to be tricking Pokemon. And we can really start to get after it that way. So I'm going to go more Pekka. I'm also going to go in with Ogre Pond. Do I go Ogre Pond here? Or I could lead maybe Intimidate, which would not be bad at all. And I kind of like that. I definitely kind of like that. So I'm going to go in with them too. I'm going to bring Ursuline in back in alongside with Ogre Pond. Cool. I like that. So we're just going to lock it in. We're locking it down. Let's look to go 2-1 and one in today's video and grab you guys a winner. We showcased more Peko in the first match. I actually killed it in the first match. Second match played pretty well too, but we just ended up losing, which kind of sad. So, hoping to grab ourselves this one here in the third. But I wonder who they're leading. They got Sableye and Iron Hands, which are actually pretty good for us because they get to intimidate the Iron Hands. He's going to fake us out, so we already know that's coming. And I get off a free attack with Arcanine. Or, e or maybe more Pekka. Not too bad. But I kind of just want to go for a parting shot here. Or I kind of just want to Super Fang Iron Hands. I'd rather parting shot, to be honest. I'd rather just dip on out of here. And go from there. So I'm going to parting shot onto the Iron Hands. Um, and I'm going to try. I'm going to try to actually go for a Rock Slide. And maybe just flinch to save Bly and buy us another turn without Trick Room. But if they want to go in the Trick Room, that's totally fine. And that's exactly what they're going to do. So they fake out my Arcanine, end up going for a Trick. Okay, so they're not popping Trick Room just yet. That's fine by me. And you're going to give me a Toxic Room. That ain't cool. That ain't right. That ain't right at all. So I'm surprised they didn't pop Trick Room. I'm actually happy they didn't because now it gives me a chance to actually start attacking. So now I'm going to bring out Ogre Pond. Instead of Ursaluna. Actually, I could bring out Ursaluna, which wouldn't be bad. And maybe just set up a Calm Mind this turn. I think now would be the turn to set up Calm Mind. I mean, he could Encore me, which would be awful. But, you know what? Do we go for the Calm Mind? I think we might just want a choice in Earth Power here. Or not choice. I think we're just going to go Earth Power and Flare Blitz and double down to the save my slot. Because, yeah, I, d I really don't want to get Encore with, uh... By Save Lie. We know it's rocking Encore. I've been there before. I don't want to deal with that. I really don't want to deal with that. So Iron Hands isn't going to do anything crazy. It might stay in here to pop a Drain Punch into Ursuline, but I think we'll be fine if it does that. So it ends up quashing the Arcanine. I'm fine. You're minus two on attack. And Earth Power is going to get cooking here in the same way. Doing big time damage. Drain Punch is going to come across here. And yeah, it's not doing anything crazy. It's not doing that much damage. Flare Blitz is going to fly. It's going to say bye bye to Sableye. And we'll see what we want to do next turn. I still have more Pekka. They did not pop Trick Room, which, again, I don't, kind of odd. I think they, they kind of just predicted us having Ursula Luna. But they did give us a Toxic Orb, which kind of sucks. I'm just being poisoned now. Losing a little bit of damage, but I think we're thriving pretty well here. So Iron Hand's definitely slowest on the field here. Let's see who they end up going into. I might Terrasalize my Ursula Luna, depending on what they go into, because I would love to get off one more turn with that. Potentially just pop a Blood Moon. It's going to be Shen Pao. So Shen Pao comes out here, and I think we just... Do we double down into it? No. We're going to Terrastalize, and I'm just going to Earth Power Iron Hands here. And I'm going to Rock Slide the whole field. I think that's our best bet. Chances are, Shen Pao could protect, or it could have Focus Ash. 
two very viable options, so Rock Slide kind of covers both of those. Rock Slide will take off Focus Sash, it will just still do some big time damage, and if it protects, Rock Slide will still attack the Iron Hands. I like that, I like that. And on top of that, we are going to Terrestrialize our lovely bear, just so we don't die to an Ice Spinner. We really don't want to die to an Ice Spinner. That's going to be big for us. That's big time. Fairy Terra. And I and I, I can see the Shin Pouch going for Ice Spinner, right? Makes the most sense. No, Sacred Sword. That works too. That works too. Rock Side's going to double connect. It's going to bring Shen Pao down to red. And deal some damage on the Iron Hands. And we get a crit on Iron Hands, even though it did like 5 damage. Earth Power comes out from Ursa Luna, and it just dumps on it. Get on out of here, Iron Hands. Killing it right now. I have E Speed, which is actually awesome. Arcanine is ripping. And yeah, that's pretty much the match, right? We won't even really use more Petko in this final match, depending on who they go into. But yeah, East Speed can take out the Shen Pao. Ursula can do big damage onto this next Pokemon. And we're thriving. We're thriving here. Come on, man. I'm actually scared to see this next Pokemon. It's going to be Fluttermane. All right, I don't mind Fluttermane. I have Mind's Eye. I can actually hit that thing with Blood Moon, which is really good for us. So he's going to boost speed. I'm just going to go for a Blood Moon, and I'm still going to go for E-Speed here, even though Shen Pao has a high chance of protecting here. If it doesn't, I just pick up the KO onto uh, Shen Pao. Massive. It's massive. Plus, we have Choice Scarf, more Petko in the back end. Very fast Pokemon. Really do like that. We'll see what they want to do here. Two top-tier meta Pokemon. I don't think I have this match. I do think I have this match. They end up Terrastalize and probably Fluttermate in the straight Fairy. Trying to do as much damage as they possibly can. Yeah. I was going to be upset. If it was Shen Pao and the Ghost, that would have been so perfect. It really would have. But they go Fairy, like I, like I said. Trying to get off as much damage as they can. And Extreme Speed is just going to finish off Shen Pao. No Protect comes out from that. We love it. We love it. We love it. So now it turns into a 4v2. 4v2. Moonblast is going to come over here. And who are you going after? You're trying to kill my Ursa Moon. He's going to soak that on 3 HP. We get a little bit of RNG there. Love it. Blood Moon comes out here. Brings this thing down to red HP. And that's going to be game. I'm just going to extreme speed. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. GG's. I don't think we lost a Pokemon, right? Because we led more Peko and Arcanine. Yeah, we didn't lose a Pokemon. Awesome. Come on, man. That's too easy. Nice little sweep here in match number three to finish off today's video. Can't go wrong with that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, more Peko on the rank regulation e ladder. Such a cool Pokemon. Very happy I got the showcase and actually use them pretty well. We grab ourselves a 2-1 winning record using Pokemon like Arcanine, Ursuluna, Ogre Pond, and Warm Moon, and just loving this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.